One of my favorite things to share on Up to Speed are our V Team stories. Summer is officially here, so let's take a look back at some of our spring profiles. From expanding your family to the love of motorcycles and creating your own music, our V Team continues to inspire us. There's power in our stories, and if you have a story to share, we would love to hear it. Send it to us at goodatverizon.com. Now let's take a look and be sure to hit the comments to give these folks some love. I always knew I wanted to be a mom. It was like really important. I also knew that it wasn't going to be very conventional. I started with IUI. Uh, in the second round, he decided that he wanted to make his way. 34 weeks, he was like, I'm ready. And now we'll be 12 in July. When my son was six, he was like, mom, I really want siblings. And so I was like, oh, we'll see what happens, even though I always knew I wanted to have a big family. The cost behind it was going to be a lot. Without insurance is probably roughly around like thirty to $40,000. Just one transfer. So if I look at just the insurance plan that we have, it was very eye-opening to me. And even talking to my doctor, he's like, it's better than mine <laughs> as a doctor. Three years ago, I started the IVF process and I have done two egg retrievals. I've done six rounds of transfers and I've probably spent roughly around like $10,000. And then February did another transfer and a week later found out that I'm expecting and I'm due in November. <laughs> when I told my son and like his excitement and how excited and like just like how he lit up and was like, I'm going to be a big brother. Those are the moments that are like a part of the process that I knew was going to be there, but didn't realize like how special those moments truly are. And then when I got to hear the heartbeat. Like that was the moment where I was like, okay, like our family gets to expand and this is something that um, I've been looking forward to for a really long time. There's going to be a lot that goes into this, like physically, mentally, like emotionally. So I was super grateful to have like such a supportive manager and finding a really good therapist through like our EAP program. Being able to kind of find that has made the experience enjoyable versus just stressful. Once you kind of like find that and know like, hey, like everything's going to align, then things work out. Hi, my name is Ashley Gatson. I am located in Greenville, South Carolina. I'm a woman, <laughs> my skin is black. And also too, I am a part of LGBTQIA plus community. I've been working with the company for seven and a half years. Currently, I am an engineer. I am a professional DJ outside of Verizon. I've been afforded opportunities to DJ for different wave events and also bold events. It's awesome to be able to bring my personal and work together. When I first started with the company back in 2015, I started in tech support. From there, I moved into leadership. When I first started, I was straight out of college. So being able to have such supportive leadership, it meant the world to me because I honestly didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> To move into the leadership role, um, I felt that helped set me up for success. Having discipline and challenging myself to do more than maybe what I'm asked to do. Define what makes you you and continue to show up authentically yourself, being knowledgeable of the role itself and just keeping customers at the forefront. But I also want to be transparent in saying that I didn't get every job that I applied for. So if there's anything that I can share to encourage anyone is to not give up and just keep going and keep pushing. All of the things that I believe that I share is what makes me me. You know, it's a lot of different challenges that comes along with that. Being able to connect with people who have similar challenges and being able to have mentors that have similar experiences as you. Be able to work for a company that does support me as I show up authentically myself. I am very grateful for to see the work that is put into these ERGs daily. It just shows that people truly care. Just being able to have those safe spaces and being able to have authentic conversations at work, I'm in a 
respectful manner where everyone is heard. It's just an awesome feeling to know that you do have that support. Hi, my name is Jesse. I live in Saxe, Texas, and I am an application custodian for the Verizon Satellite Solutions Group. I'm responsible for maintaining a database that keeps track of all of our satellite circuits and where they're all connected to. I started getting into motorcycling after being out of it for a length of time. The training and skills competitions, there's a sequence of patterns that these cones are placed in that you, you need to navigate through all while being timed. And the person with the fastest time you know, is getting the highest score. When you're going through these patterns, there's only enough room in there to go through it right. There's not a lot of room for mistakes. You can't be afraid of failing. If, you know, if, you're, if you're afraid to fail going through the pattern, you're either gonna run wide or drop your bike or there's gonna, something's not gonna go well. It's a way to practice you know, letting go of that fear and grasp a hold of your confidence to make the right choices and you know, navigate your way through this maze. It's changed the way I think about that and I've kind of found that helpful at work too, that being afraid of failing at something often leads to you failing at it. <laughs> One of our sales people was in the office one day and someone told him that he should check out this thing that Jesse made. So he came by my desk and I showed him this application and what it was, what it was doing and told me that I should reach out to the patent people. And you know, in my mind, it just seemed like a very ordinary thing that wouldn't really you know, merit patent protection. But I, you know, I went ahead and wrote up a little paper about it and sent it in and they were very interested and I was a little surprised but they moved forward with submitting for the patent and uh, I think the patent was awarded in 2012 or so. The patent is for a system that enables us to very accurately point a remote satellite antenna while simultaneously reducing any potential interference it may cause. When it all comes together and you build something and it works and people are using it and it's successful, that is a very rewarding thing. It's very nice to be able to do that at a place like Verizon where you're allowed to take some risk to try something new and you know it might lead to something great.